Uh, well, here we are in my sister's backyard. As you may or may be in notice, it's getting to be a fall autumn. It's the middle of, uh, in the middle of, it's the beginning of November. But, you know, when I, actually, when I came back from the, the conference, from ADO's conference, um, I came through, um, came through Chicago and then came down, uh, you know, New York State. And uh, as we was coming down, the leaves were changing at that point. That was the beginning, the middle, whatever, of, uh, you know, of October. So the leaves are starting to change over they're falling around, whatever it had, but it hadn't really changed a lot. But they're changing. Anyway, so I've been thinking. I've been thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, I'm working on, actually, I've, I've actually been creating because I have to work on the audio drama we're going to do on the 16th of uh, November. And so I got, I got the, I'm thinking, I got the whole, uh, got the whole thing figured out. Just grab it. There, see yeah. You gotta make sure the trash, you know, doesn't go in the backyard. It's a big backyard. Uh, and it goes into a bag. Anyway, as I was thinking, let's just go. I guess I have to do it this way. Punch this in. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, that's the punch it. Almond milk. Dark chocolate almond milk. Hey. Because dark chocolate is what I want. Mm. So it's for them. For them. It's for them. <laughs> time to reflect, think, whatever. Maybe it's not. I don't know what, what season is the time to think, reflect. But I had some thoughts. One of the thoughts I had, because um, all the stuff that's happening with uh, ADOS, and I, oh, I just signed up. Did I tell you? I signed up for the um, foundational. Black Americans thing. Well, I, I gave to the Kickstarter the Sound Foundation of Black Americans thing in uh, next August. So I'm just hoping that you know, I hoping. Um, so I'll be there hopefully in Atlanta. Well, I'm hoping that my man in Atlanta, he got to be a place for me to crash. Otherwise, I have to do the you know, to maybe I'll. Help with, I'm sure ADOS dot NYC will be down there. They'll probably be no one else BNB. So I'll hook up with somebody. Actually, I'd rather do that because then we put other ADOS people. We can do whatever we do. Whatever, 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 whatever. Whatever, um, and then of course, if that hits, then of course, well, when that hits, then it'll give us a couple more months, and then we have October, then we have the ADOS conference. It'll be nice. But here's what I was thinking: Why? I mean, everybody thinks that everybody knows that black people are always the object of uh, of study. You know, that's what we got. To do. So many people studied us that we didn't have. We have. We didn't have. The, how do we say? We didn't have the, the levers on our own study, and we they, they would study then interpret for us and whatever, whatever, whatever. So one of the things that excites me about ADOS and and all this happening with financial Black Americans and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is that we basically named ourselves, and we threw with that, we threw with that with, with them telling us what to do or whatever have you, and we can make up our own minds, you know. So when they they, I'm not going to do the whole thing with how they control the media and whatever have you, but that's changing because there's um there's what's going to it's what's called a critical mass. As more people get on board, more people understand what's going on, then we have a critical mass. And that critical mass is like, a, you know, one of those big, you know, Hawaii, you know, South African, Australian, Hawaii waves that just will knock you over. And people just have to, you know, they just got to, hey, but they'll come around. But what I was noticing, let me just tell you something from my long, 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 long time ago. I got the news of this last uh not this last Saturday, the Saturday before last when I was up um, with the Liquid Sound Lounge doing the doing the program, the internet program, Liquid Sound Lounge with uh, with Jeannie Hopper and and, uh, and Reggie and uh, and Steve. Uh, what, what what I found out is that the uh, Theater of the Streets uh, was on basically it was a uh, uh, was on uh, was that Eighth Street, Eighth Street and, and Avenue A. It was a thing called Theater of the Streets. I think it was Thirteen Avenue A, something like that, whatever. But but that theater. Actually, I, uh, uh, John Harris Jr., peace and blessings on the show. We're going to come to John Harris Jr. because last time I know he was in Atlanta. So who knows what will happen? This is a long time ago. This is like in the, in the, in the, in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. We, um, uh, John Harris Jr., Big John Carpenter, and me, we built this theater, Theater of the Streets. I mean, you know, all the inside, the, the space was there, but we, you know, just put the stands, it, we built the whole thing, the, the, the uh, what do you call that? The, the stage manager booth, everything, you know, we built this theater, but no longer exists, it's been ripped down, so things change. But the reason why I bring that up 
which it seems like the, I do these non sequiturs all the time. Uh, but it, it seems like uh, I, I was thinking of John Harris Jr. and uh, he he went to NYU, you know, the theater theater school there, and he was a great design. John Harris Jr. is a great designer, a great designer. And uh, if one, when his thesis, I don't know, it was, it was he was helping out on this thesis process for somebody else, I think it was. And what it was, they took a black uh, a student, a black girl, woman, and a white woman, right? And then they were both the same, the same, um, what do you call it? The same physicalness, whatever, whatever it have is, just same everything. And they were doing its dance piece, right? And they would do the exact same dance step. But if you was in the audience watching, for some reason, your eyes would go towards a black dancer. Your eyes would go towards a black dancer. So you know, it's 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 and that always that has always stuck with me. I mean, from from the late seventies, eighties, you know, right? That has always stuck with me. Their eyes always went to the black dancer. They, they they did the same movements, but you would, the black dancer was much more, much more, much more interesting. You know, dark chocolate's much more interesting. Anyway, so. That's my point. This tsunami that's coming, this this critical mass is going to be the tsunami that overtakes that that, that dictates everything. That that would that's a that's what they they call a game changer. That's going to change the whole landscape of everything. Has to be successful because we're always the most interesting people. Whatever we do is so interesting. But if I'm looking at it, something else, they see, and this is this is why I'm so glad that that that. Uh, Yvette and Antonio and Tariq all, you know, sort of, sort of together, they're moving it like that, you know, uh, other people are doing the same thing. People all over the internet, you know, are doing doing what they need to do. And all we have to do is, uh, like I said, uh, uh, ADOS is my political thing, so I, I, I take my marching orders from Yvette Cornell and, uh, and Antonio Moore. But everything else, all my cultural things are just to have... Just to have, have you got to have fun in your revolution. You know, what's that? You know, if, if you ain't dancing, you know what I mean. Then ah, I don't want to be a part of your thing. You got to have fun. So I'm doing my little audio drama. It's, it's, it's fun. Uh, I, and and Tariq is doing what he does, and I just I'm just he just I'm just highly entertained with, with Tariq. So as we entertain ourselves and as we are serious at the same time, other people need to get on board. They need to find. They have to find a way to do what they do in the cause of freeing the cause of the liberation and the cause of changing this whole landscape. And ADOS is the key to that. And what happens when you change this landscape, our liberation is everyone's liberation. I'm talking about globally, globally. I mean, there's moves making, I'm going back to Africa in a month, and there's moves making there, and I got a whole lot of stuff that I'm doing there. You know what I mean? That's why I can't really, well, I got a whole lot of stuff I'm doing and, and how to hook this up because as we free ourselves, all those all those African nations, all those dark people on the planet, we're the spearheads for you. Understand that. Just chill for a second. See, not chill for a second. Do what you do. But understand that as we as we deal with this, with, as we deal in the belly of the beast, so it will go. One of the first things we have to do this is good. Stop listening to those folks with that white mentality. When I'm talking about that white mentality, I'm talking about that mentality that perpetuated a, a system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. That mentality has to go. If you have that mentality, in other words, if you're doing something against humanity, that's what that mentality is. If you're being unjust, then that's what you have to adjust to. So, so as we move, as as ADOS and Foundation of Black Americans, and all 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 who understand this 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 reality, as we move along, then your task is to free your mind of that system that has oppressed you for so long. Just a little message for me, T. Fun Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. On the backyard there. Yeah. Good old Virginia, A. close to where I'm a stone's throw away from Norfolk. And you know who came from Norfolk? My one of my heroes. And these Hollywood been never, ever, ever a touch her. Touch her. That would be Ella Josephine Baker. Look her up. <laughs>